Nice. I love you in every universe. Well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, we'll be talking about Akron, or more specifically, the best team that I think you should be using with your Akron once she comes out in a few weeks. Like, I think for Akron Relics and Planament Ornaments, that's a pretty simple because she's like a standard DPS. Like, you'll build her in speed, attack, crit, and crit damage. Like, the only thing that's gonna separate Akron from the other DPS cracks is the fact that how her ultimate doesn't have no energy and she gets her ultimate back based on how much debuffs the enemy have based on Akron or the party members on your team applying debuffs or DOT. So I kind of want to make this video talk about the good Akron teams that can actually really be good with Akron. Because why not? <laughs> but anyways about Akron teammates, since she has so much emphasis on putting debuffs on the enemy, any character that can apply some form of debuffs or DOT will gladly be accepted in your Akron team. But one thing I'm not exactly sure on is the synergy Akron has with Harmony because for one, since you want debuffs on the enemy, most Harmony Kraken, if not none of them, gives no debuffs to the enemy. But I'll get to that part later. So when you think of characters that can give debuffs, you think of units like Silver Wolf and Pela, and yes, those two units are gonna go crazy. Like for someone like Silver Wolf, everything Silver Wolf does give debuffs. The ultimate give debuffs, the skills give debuffs, the basic attack give debuffs. And then for Pela, obviously the ultimate give debuffs. But also at the same time, if you have E4 Pela with decreased eye defense that counts as another debuff. And if you have she equipped with a Luka light going, and that also counts as another debuff. And then obviously any healer that can keep you alive, obviously, right? Like obviously there's a lot of options you can go for because one ho ho very nice for the attack and energy recharge buff. Then you have Luo Cha for his brain dead healing. Then you have Fu Shine. One cool thing about Fu Shine is the fact that if you equip she with a four fast toe pass like on, which also counts as a debuff. So something like Fu Shun, Akron, Payless, Silver Wolf can actually be a pretty good team. But that's not the only option we have because one other character can apply debuffs like DOT units like Black Swan who can apply DOT and also lower 20% defense. Like I think that'll be a good team but I don't think that'll be a good Akron or Black Swan team period like compared to their best team. It can definitely work and give us an excuse to use those two parents am I right? <laughs> so something like a Soul Sustain unit, Akron, Black Swan and let's say someone like Pela or Civil Wolf. Now I kinda wanna talk about she with a harmony character because for one, if you have so much debuffs already, let's say you have a preservation unit like Fushun or very soon adventuring who's gonna be amazing with Akron, then someone like Civil or Pela for the defense shred and debuffs, maybe you can actually fit a harmony unit on your team like let's say Sparkles, Bronia, Ruan Mei, like it could work. Like this is something I'm not exactly sure that could work but I have to try it out to myself when she come out. Like I think it'd be more worth it trying to maximize as much debuffs as you can so you can cycle to the burst and just keep doing loads and loads of damage with Akron. And this next team I want to talk about can be kind of interesting playing Akron as the main DPS obviously right? But then you take advantage of a character like Aventurine or let's say Fushan with Topaz Lycon to get like one debuff and then you use a character like Welt who can give the imprisonment on the technique and the ultimate and then whatever payload civil wolf you want to use on that team. Like I don't think this will be Akron best team but could be a very fun team to get all that imprisonment okay but one thing i want to talk about i want to talk about gallagher because gallagher seems like a very interesting unit because he's a four star healer that actually apply debuffs which actually sound really good but i don't know how good his healing is the fact that because four star healers aren't typically enough to keep you alive by themselves so i'm not exactly sure how good gallagher gonna be but i think for how gallagher give debuffs and paid up with silver and Pela, and given the fact how broken Akron gonna be so like let's say Galgas on your team maybe his healing might be enough but again I'm not sure about that like let's say Galga, Akron, Silver and Pela that sounds really cool but again we have to see how good Galga actually is but for someone like Akron she actually have a fair amount of team I thought it would be kind of limited but she actually has a lot of team you can use due to the fact that any DOT or any debuff hell you by breaking the enemy toughness by completely and triggering that DOT also counts for attack for Akron 
run. Like you actually have a fair amount of options on your team building, which is really good. But I think the Wolf and Taylor will be like the better option for sure. But hey, that's just an opinion. My opinion. <laughs> and yeah, that's about it. Because with all that said, I think that everything I want to talk about for today's video. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate you for sure. And let me know what I should do next. And let me know what you guys think what to say. You agree with me or you disagree? Let me know down below. Because at the end of the day, I'm not going to kill you. Meh. I probably might kill you. But at the same time, still comment and wait. Cut out all that stuff. But anyway, final thoughts is, yeah, there's a lot of ways you can build your Akron team. But I would say Super Fan Pillar is the best option to go for. Because for one, you get the debuff. But also, you get the defense decrease. But hey, let me know your Akron team down in the comment section because i love to hear what you have to say and yeah that's about it make sure to subscribe to my channel because i post daily videos every single day and follow me on twitter or x or whatever the hell you want to call it and join my discord server and be a part of my community because it'll make me a happy boy for sure <laughs> and with all that said take care love you guys and i'll see you on the next video goodbye <laughs>